What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve. This is my channel, Fragrance Fanatic. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If this is your first time here, I would greatly appreciate your support by liking the video if you enjoyed it and dropping a subscribe to the channel. Getting into this video, we are going over a newer release fragrance. This one's from 2020 by a company called Tumi, and this one is called Unwind. Welcome back. You might have seen a video I did from the company to me. I did Awaken, their first fragrance. I'm going to drop it up here after this video. If you haven't seen it, you can go back and watch it. But this one is called Unwind, and I would call this the stepbrother to Awaken. And if you have seen kind of the gradual trend of what Tumi was doing, I believe these are their first um, release fragrances. They had one called Awaken, which is your kind of morning time, right? Your, your more fresh, rejuvenating, energizing fragrances, something a little more versatile. And then you have one called Unwind, when the day is getting over, and you're getting to the house, you want to put something sensual on, something maybe a, a bit more masculine, a bit more seductive, something maybe for a beautiful night out. And that's where this one gets you. Getting into the actual fragrance, let's go over the atomizer. I have never had any issues with the atomizer in this fragrance. This, it's so... It's so gorgeous and I, I've smelled something and I think it's the ginger. I've smelled a fragrance that is similar to this that has a similar top note or top opening. It's just, it's got ginger and lemon and it is so rejuvenating and so beautiful. But what I find with this one is because it does have some oud in it, it does have a really masculine undertone as the fragrance evolves throughout the day. This one's described as aromatic. It's also slightly woody, and you get a tad bit of spiciness, not a lot, just a hint of spiciness within it. And then just the touch of oud definitely helps, in my opinion, add to the masculine appeal in a fragrance like for myself, when I'm looking to wear something to go out and enjoy the night, maybe something when it's cooler, but you can also pull this off when it's a little warmer, this is the type of fragrance that I gravitate towards. I get five hours of longevity with this one. You might be able to pull a little more if your skin is not as dry as mine. And I get about one to one and a half hours of projection before it starts to dry down and get closer to the skin. If we haven't touched on it already, this is EDP concentration and nothing about it smells cheap. Even though it's not too crazy on the pockets, it does give off this really kind of rich, expensive type vibe. You can wear this one at all times of the year if you choose to. I do think it's gonna operate better in the cooler months, probably better for a nighttime fragrance, but feel free to wear it when you want to, even if you're gonna wear it around the house just to unwind for the night. I think this is a perfect fragrance to choose. The notes on this one are your top notes, again, of ginger and lemon, your mids of sage, lavender, geranium, and your base of sandalwood, oud, and vetiver, I would say the vetiver is not extremely notable. Uh, it's kind of very, very faint in the background. The oud is more notable, but an amazing fragrance if you're looking for something to add to your collection, something that's fresh, also holds a nighttime masculine appeal. This one is one you need to check out. And I saved you guys all the trouble. Everything is in the description below. Feel free to check it out once this video is over. Get you a bottle, see for yourself how this fragrance is. And if you own it, please drop me a comment and let me know what your thoughts are. And thank you so much guys for tuning in today. As always, always have new videos coming out, always have new fragrances coming in. Y'all stay safe, be blessed, and please always keep it locked. Peace.